Get your pen and paper because it's going to be good. In your late teens and your early 20s, you are at a stage where you are figuring yourself out, kind of figuring out your, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to do, and this is a time where everybody's probably going to college, they may have a plan, or they're simply like, I don't have a plan at all, and I'm a little worried. So one of the biggest things I want to tell you guys is during this early stage, I think it's so important to not just rush into a relationship. Whether you go off to college and you meet somebody to kind of make sure that you still have your space and you know who you are outside of them. When you get into a relationship, things kind of just move so fast. And before you blink your eyes, you are a lot older and you're wondering or wondering who you are. So enjoy this stage, enjoy this time, and understand that there is no need to rush into a relationship. There isn't. You want to be able to go off with your girls and do you and not have to worry about somebody checking on you, wondering where you at, being, just doing too much. So enjoy this time as your own person and understand that a relationship will come, but when you are during this kind of early stage in life of finding yourself, people are going off to college, whatever it is that they're doing, you don't wanna be tied down to somebody who may not even be in your future. And I know that may sound tougher, you know, it may sound like tough love, but it's real. Because imagine if you meet somebody and they wanna go off to college at an HBCU and you're kinda like, that's not really my thing, I kinda wanna stay on, you know, the West Coast and go somewhere else. like go to a school in California, whatever the case may be, and you end up kind of just following them. Now, you have a purpose and plan for your own life, and when you get off of track of that plan, you know, you'll be able to get back on track. It just may take a little bit longer, but the last thing you want to do is just be following behind somebody else or somebody else being in a relationship having so much control over what you are doing with your future when you are at a time where this is a time for you to find yourself and flourish and you don't need to be tied down with all of that extra drama. There's time for relationships, but I tell you in your early 20s, that ain't the time. Enjoy yourself, date a little bit, have some fun, but don't be tied down in no relationship. It's just, it's unnecessary. During this time as well, this is a time where people are go, say they are going off to college, you may feel the pressure to go off to college and go to, go enter or be a part of the nursing program because it sounds good. Or you may like to help people and you're not really sure what you want to do with it because you're only 18, 19, 20, but it sounds good to everybody to go off to college. And you know, it makes mom and dad proud, but realistically, maybe you kind of like doing makeup, but the family doesn't take it serious because they see it sounds better for you to say you're going off to college to nursing. During this time, I know it's easier said than done because your family or your parents may be paying for your schooling or your parents have maybe already set up your life for what it will be without even taking you into account. So I know that that sucks, but during this time, just try your hardest to make sure that you follow your own path, your own path. Because if you are walking in your purpose and you are doing things that excite you, get you pumped every single day to wake up, when you do that work or you do whatever it is that you don't even consider work, say you do want to be a makeup artist and you enjoy that and it allows you to show your creative side versus you going off to college and failing some classes and knowing that that's not where you're supposed to be and then up, end up graduating and then starting your your career path in what it is that you truly wanted to do, it's best for you to follow your heart because you don't want to be stuck after graduating from college working a job that you truly never wanted to work because you didn't follow your heart and follow your path. So make sure that you are strong in the sense of putting yourself first and understanding that your callings and the things that come easy to you are probably the path that you need to take versus whatever versus what everybody else wants you to do um, because it sounds good. Also, credit cards. Credit cards 
are so important. Sometimes when you get of that age and you get your first one, you want to swipe, swipe, swipe. And 100 may sound not like nothing or going to in and out eh, it's only $10, I'm going to swipe it. Going to Chick-fil-A, it's only $10, I'm going to swipe it. And next thing you know, you have so much credit card debt and you're trying to pay it down. And that is a stress in itself. So if you do end up getting a credit card, know that it should be 30% under your total amount in credit that you have so if you have a credit card that is a hundred dollars that's all you have on it that's your limit a hundred dollars you better not go over it now I'm not good at math so I'm gonna just grab my phone for you guys so I can show you so you have let's see a hundred dollars that's what you got that's what you got that's your credit limit and we are going to do a little 30% $30 which I should have known that and I didn't but $30 that's the most that you should be spending it should be 30% or under so make sure that you guys are not maxing out those credit cards because that is going to play a role in your credit and when you're in that age you know nothing about credit you out here trying to party and live your best life and turn up and you know do the most but it is so important that you make sure that you are taking care of yourself financially. Even if you have a job and you're only able to save $10 per check, that's it. You may think that's nothing. It's more than zero. So make sure that you have a savings account that you are putting over a little something. Even if it's it sounds like nothing, the most you can do is five because your bills are they real tight. Throw the five over because I promise you it's going to be so much more worth it in the end when you need it also creating yourself an emergency fund it's one thing to have your savings account you know where maybe you're able to move money around maybe you want to use that money to invest whatever the case is and then also to have an emergency fund now if you've heard of dave ramsey he's come up with a thousand dollars so to have that thousand dollars so say your car your car breaks down and one of your tires gets messed up and that's $200. Instead of you taking that out of that $200 out of your savings account, you take it out of your emergency fund because it's an emergency. So we're only using this for emergencies, which this would be considered that. That way your savings account is not touched at all and your emergency fund is $200 shorter, but your money is still, is still moving, it's still real smooth. Make sure you have a savings account Make sure you have an emergency fund and make sure that your credit card is staying under that 30%. That way you are not affecting your credit in negative ways that you don't need. During this time, I know you may feel the pressure to hurry up and figure out what it is that you're going to do with your rest of your life. But that's not realistic when you really think about it. You're 18, between 18 and 21, you're just coming out of high school maybe getting out of college or starting college how are you supposed to know at that age what you want to do for the rest of your life you don't so don't be so hard on yourself and feel like you have to know right now because as you grow into a woman or you grow into a man things are going to change and also life happens aka shit happens in life that you could have never imagined so if you think that you're going to plan out the rest of your life at the age the young age of 18 or the young age of 21 it's not realistic you can have plans and goals that you want for yourself but every step of the way isn't going to be the way that you thought it would be so don't be so hard on yourself and understand that just take in that moment right there and think about what it is that you want to do right there in that moment if you want to be an artist then that's what it is you go hard and you figure out what you need to do to become the best artist and make sure you use social media to get your stuff out there make sure you connect with people who are already doing what it is that you want to do but understand that it's okay to want to take to not want to take the traditional route of college or going to some type of vocational school it's okay to not want to do those things it's okay to want to be different and follow your dreams the dreams that people may think are weird or you're not going to make any money out of that little do they know you have a purpose in that and you're going to be farther along than they could have ever imagined last but not least is going to be to simply just know your worth you are at an age where you are still learning yourself, finding yourself, and understanding just who you are as a person in general. So if you do decide to get into a relationship or surround yourself with people maybe that you shouldn't be hanging out with, 
notice those red flags and be open to it be open to the red flags be open to the things that the universe god whatever it is is trying to show you and make sure you make the necessary changes before you get yourself into something you shouldn't be in know your worth when it comes to a man if you are not being treated in the best way you possibly could and you may have friends who are showing you that there are other men who are good out there then break yourself away from that relationship and understand that you are beautiful you are awesome and you deserve everything that you could have imagined even if it's a job if it's a job that you are not happy in and you know that you have a bigger calling in life then you try to focus yourself towards the things that you like to do that come natural to you and don't be so stuck in that life or feel like this is going to be forever because it's not going to be you may be going to college and working at a smoothie place while you're going to college so that you can pay your bills understand that you are making boss moves it may not feel like it because you have nothing to show for yet but trust and believe that you will in the end so keep pushing through understand that you need to put yourself first during this time because you don't get that time back relationships will come stay in your bag make sure you protect your bag at all costs and make sure you protect your energy your vibe and surround yourself with good people good men good women and just all around great vibes you guys so i hope this video helped you guys and i will see you guys in another video